welcome to the madness. Hello folks, how's it going? The name's Deffy and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Red for the Game Boy Color. That was a thing for a second, man. <laughs> so how you guys doing? Right, so I don't know if you noticed, but I've changed a few things regarding the video. First of all, I changed the screen revolution from whatever it was to 1270 by 920, I think it is. 1280, sorry, by 720. Basically, I thought the screen was a bit too big for the, the, uh, for the style of the game, because the thing is though, when you saw the original game on the screen the Game Boy Color, the actual screen was only about nay size, something like that, and it wasn't really built for big revolutions, if you know what I mean, and I thought if you're watching this full screen, it'd be too much for your face, so I just shortened it down, added an extra border so it pops out, so overall, pretty cool. Right, so let's get started with what we're going to do then. Let's get started. So, um, got some suggestions for nicknames. Um, naming Pokemon after subscribers and naming Pokemon with uh, puns. You know, so for example, Squirtle Drippy, the drip of a tap. So I'll, I'll, I'll get creative, I'll think, I'll think about it. Okay, so what we want to do is first, we want to go back home for a second because there is an item in the PC that I kind of knew about and kind of forgot at the same time, let's just say. <laughs> but basically, you go to the PC and we draw an item and we have a potion. Basically, it's our first healing item and it heals 20 hit points of a Pokemon. Uh, no, I do not do that, thanks very much. Right, so now is our official leave of Pallet Town, so now we're going to head up to Viridian City. Now, we're already at Viridian City, but we could do a little bit more Viridian City now, so let's get moving. Alright, so we're back on Route 1. So, um, this episode what we want to do is, we're going to capture... There's one Pokemon I want to capture, and we are going to head to the first proper... We're going to head to the first proper city of the game now, Pewter City. And if we could do the gym at the same time, cool. Now, um, I am going to be honest with you, this might be another short game, depending on what I do. Um, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Now, in terms of uh, complete, in terms of making this a completion playthrough, I'm not going to do it. Basically, um, catching all the Pokemon, nah, it's a no-go. For many reasons, because one, there's only certain types of Pokemon that can only be evolved through training between two different versions. And also, there is, um, sorry, just adjusting the volume of my headset. And also, um, there is a version exclusive Pokemon as well, so that's a big deal as well. Um, and not to mention I'll be here all fucking day. Now, the legendaries. There, are, there is four legendaries in this game as far as I'm aware. There's the three elemental birds as well as um, the big psychic boy himself. Um, I'm not sure where to go after them because personally I just find going after legendaries kind of, I'm not going to say boring, but unnecessary, you know, unless you plan on using one yourself, which I'm well, probably not. Yeah, we can get Pokeballs here now. So yeah, we can get items, burn heals, paralyze heal, antidotes. Um, so what I want to do is I want to buy at least five antidotes because we're going to run into poison types, and I want at least ten Pokeballs, I think. So that's going to give us two thousand. That leaves us with six hundred Poke dollars. So in terms of the um, the elementals, I think I will go for one elemental in this game. What elemental? Legendary, pardon. Uh, but I'm not too sure which one. I'm kind of leaning towards the Ice Elemental Bird. Um, just because it's my favourite of the three. The Fire one, you pretty much have to go through fucking... You pretty much have to jump through hoops to get it. Um, the Electric one, mm, it's alright. But I don't know, for some reason I prefer to go with the uh, the Ice one. It's pretty cool. Okay, what do you say my friend? Well, it's Pokemon. Oh yeah, I've already taught this guy. Okay, so we go along this way. Basically, we will run into a rival fight, and if you keep following the path, you get to the Pokemon League, which is where we're going to go, but we can't progress through it unless we got the eight gym battles. We will do that fight eventually, but we need a couple more Pokemon for that fight because we're going to be outmatched and outnumbered, to say the least. When I go shop in Pewter City, I have to take the Winding Trail in Viridian Forest. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this guy's pretty special. Oh, I have my coffee now, and I feel great. 
Sure, you can go through. Are you in a hurry? Uh, no, not really. I see. You're using Pokédex. When you catch a Pokémon, Pokédex is automatically updated. What? You don't know how to catch Pokémon? I'll show you how to then. So yeah, pretty simple. So he's going to teach us how to catch Pokémon. While Weedle appeared. Okay, item. It's got 50 Pokéballs? God, must be loaded. Must be the pension. <laughs> Alright, Weedle was caught. And it's not as simple as that, trust me. First, you need to weaken the target Pokémon. Yeah, literally, you need to weaken it. Um, I believe each Pokémon have their own individual chances of being caught, but there's also other factors to it, such as um, status, sleep, paralysis, and um, I believe you can get different types of balls. There's Pokéballs, Great Balls, Ultra Balls, and then there's the Master Ball, which is 100% catch rate, but you only get one of them per game. Uh, but then, you know, obviously as the series went on, we had different types of Pokemon, uh, Pokeballs, sorry, we have Dusk Balls, it's fucking Net Balls, and Dive Balls, Timer Balls, Feather Balls. <laughs> Christ, I know, way too much for even my comprehension. This is bare bones basic, this is what I'm used to. Oh yeah, so this is one of the eight gyms, by the way. This Pokemon gym is always closed. Hmm, I wonder who the leader is. Yep, so yeah. Viridian City Pokemon Gym. So yeah, so we're going to have to come back here towards near enough the end of the game. Alright, so, now we're done in our business here, we're signing up. Okay, so, here we go, what's the first test? This is Route 2, Viridian City to Pewter City. Okay, let's see, we've got some grass here. I wonder if I can get my Pokemon here, if I want. Yes it is, Pidgey. Yep, I want to capture Pidgey. Why? Because in all my teams, I always have a flying type. Uh, Pidgey's not too bad in terms of its um, stats. It's pretty much a good all-rounder, but it's mainly used for a flying slave. For a fly HM slave. Um, yeah, I know. That's what they call them, HM slaves. I'll talk about that later on down the line. But basically, there's only a certain move that we could use outside battle to, you know, to move around. Basically... We get this, we get a certain move, we can fly from town to town instead of walking. That's the only reason why I'm doing this. Now, there is a chance we could probably kill it in one, which I'm not happy about. But it's a crit though, so I think maybe one more and that's it. Let's have a look. Come on, don't you bother, don't you bother, come on. Stop! Nice. It's perfect. Just... Okay, so let's go item, let's go Pokeball. And... What is this, A, B, A, B, A, B? I don't know what that little cold is. Alright, Pidgey was caught. New Pokemon, new Pokédex data will be added for Pidgey. Pidgey, the tiny bird Pokemon. Weight, one inch, weight, four pounds. I come inside and for some words, it flaps its wings at one level to kick up blood and sand. What do you think? Accurate? <laughs> do you want to give a nickname to Pidgey? Ah, uh, sure. Uh, pitchy, 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 pitchy. Thank you, Maven. I suck when it goes to nicknames. Um, I wonder if this will fit. Right. Nah, I wouldn't. Right. Yeah. <laughs> fried bird. <laughs> Pokemon fried bird. <laughs> why? I don't know why. Fuck's sake, man. Yeah, that's... um. You ever see them? Those are uh, either items or Pokeballs. Pick them up. Right, Um, I'm going to head back to the Pokemon Center. Because I want to put Pigeon uh, Fried Bird in the lead so he can get some experience. So, what happens is, when you have numerous types of Pokemon um, in your belt, whatever, um, only one Pokemon can get the experience. But what you can do is, you could do something called the XP Swap technique or trick. Where basically, um, any Pokemon that's participated in that one Pokemon fight, and that's per Pokemon in terms of the entire battle, 
share the experience. So what we can do is we can put Bright Bird at the front, and then within the first round, oh no, I don't want to heal, uh, we can switch to Drippy, and the XP will be halved. So that's a good way to level up your Pokemon that way. So really, in terms of like leveling Pokemon, you pretty much have full reign of whatever you want to do. Now, there is an item later on down the line, called an XP share, where basically it does it automatically without swapping without um, swapping Pokemon around, but for that, you need to capture a certain amount of Pokemon, and I pretty much will be um, catching X amount of Pokemon to get these items. They're quite useful, I'll tell you that now. Oh, Rattata may be small, but its bite is wicked! Did you get one? Nope. Nope, because I'm not after rats out this playthrough. Are you going to Freudian Forest? Be careful, it's a natural maze. Mm hmm, that is a maze, trust me. The amount of times I got fucking stuck in this place? Mental. I came here with some friends. They're out for Pokemon fights. Cool, so we got Pokemon fights. Now, um, a cool little thing is, as well, I think in this particular area of Viridian Forest, you can actually run into a Pikachu if you wanted to. Uh, Electric type. Uh, I think it's the only place you can find it as well, I'm not too sure. I was actually contemplating picking up a Pikachu for this playthrough, but um, I'm not entirely too sure if I want to. I mean, if I can run into it, cool. If not, then no worries. Then. Nope, okay. So, in this place, you can pretty much get uh, Bug-type Pokémon, which are kind of 50-50, you know? Some are alright, some are not, some are not. But Poison, use your antidote. Get it at uh, Pokémon Marts. Yeah, that's why I bought five, because trust me, Poison is fucking horrible in this game. Ba -ba Hello. I ran out Pokémon Balls to catch Pokémon me. You should carry extras. Well, we just picked one up on the other side of the forest, mate, so you could have got it one. <laughs> It's weird I'm not getting any fucking Pokemon spawns. Weird. Just as I said that. Alright, I'm gonna Weedle. Riddle, Riddle. Alright, so Weedle. Uh, poison type Pokemon uses po Poison Sting, which um, is a weak power move, but has a 40% chance to proc poison, I think. So it's quite, um, yeah, quite strong. Right, so what I want to do is, I want to focus mainly on Drippy right now, because I want to get Drippy to level 8. Once we get Drippy to level 8, that's when he learns his first water move, Bubble, which will be very useful for the first gym fight, because um, Pewter City gym fight is um, a rock gym, and water is super effective against rock, so there's no reason why I picked Drippy, just nice easy. Um, if you pick Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur will do fantastic as well, although I would wait until you get to level Level 14, I think, because it will learn Razor Leaf, which is a very powerful grass move. Um, it learns learns um, Leech Seed at level 8, but that's completely different. Um, that's more of a DLT move, so it's a DLT move that heals you, but personally, I'd avoid it. And if you're going to pick Charizard, uh, Charmander, I wouldn't main him instead. Um, there's a patch of grass in Viridian City where you can catch a Mankey which is a fighting type move and fighting type Pokemon. And I think it comes with Karate Chop, I think, and that's a fighting type move and fighting is super effective against um, Rock, so remember that. All right, our first Pokemon battle done. Proper Pokemon battle. Hey, you have Pokemon, come on, let's battle. Well, it's not our first official one. Our first official one was a craze, but this is our first official one outside, you know, optional. But catch was fine. I just realized the squirrel's fucking poisoned. God damn it. <laughs> Level 6. That should start with um, finishing that. Right, so here we got Bubble. Do, 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 do. Hurt by Poison. Yeah, I'm going to have to use Antidote in a second. String Shot. So, String Shot um, reduces your speed, by the way. Very useful in certain cases, if you want to act first in the battle. But for the most part, it's kind of a waste, you know? It doesn't really matter. Speed's a very funny thing. Also, I believe speed also will fix your crit rate as well, so I guess if you have a higher speed, there is a higher crit rate as well. I really need to get rid of this antidote, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to switch to uh, Frybird to use um, Ghost and try and take it down. What makes me laugh is about Ghost. Um, in this generation, Ghost is classed as a normal type move, where in Generation 2, well, of course you use Poison Sting, right? Yeah. Crickle it as well. Um, in thingy in generation two, it's classed as a flying flame move, which I don't understand. It's funny. 
Okay. We just need one more. Come on. Yeah, string shot. There we go. The fright bird's gonna get a proper, a proper, proper uh, level up in a second. Oh, that's the reason why I call it fright bird. I'm thinking of free bird as in the Linda Skinner song as well. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, um, Drippy would have got 66 experience points, but because we had um, fright bird out, it's been cut in half, so we've got 50, 33 each. I didn't even get a level up, wow. Uh, nope. Alright, but catch us out, Canopy. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch to Drippy. So Frybird has quote unquote participated in the fight. And then we can use Drippy to finish it off, and then there we go. And then we're gonna have to get rid of this fucking poison the best we can. Drippy Speed Spell. Spell? Spell. Okay, let's use Bubble. I'm going to have to see what's higher, uh, Drippy's attack stat or his special stat. Because there's two different types of uh, moves you can use. You have um, moves that focus, sorry, moves that uses the attack stat for its damage. And you have um, moves that use the special stat. So. Sticking towards your Pokemon's characteristics in terms of moves would be very advised because if you had one that's focused more on special, you don't want to use um, I guess physical attacks, but you don't want to use moves that use attack. Attack stat moves, you know? There we go. And we can't be defeated. Drippy gave 33 experience points, Frybird gave 33, and level 2, level 4. Nice. Definitely to be a bug catcher. No, Gallic P can't out it, cut it. Sick <laughs> can't out it, <laughs> can't cut it. All right, cool. Now what we want to do is we want to do this. Uh, antidote. That was a potion, not an antidote. That's fine. I wanted to heal a drippy anyway. Okay, let's use antidote. Mm -hmm. And then let's use the second one. Our uh, fire bird then. Cool. Right. Let's carry on then. Alright, so we've got another Pokemon battle up here, I think. Yeah, we do. How about the Nave? Yo, you can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. No, I can't. So fight to the death, literally. Bugcatcher wants to fight. What are you going to throw out? Weedle. Alright, so level 6, level 4. No, it's level 7 this time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so fights again a little harder now. Yeah, poison sting. At least we're not getting the poison proc just yet. Not bad. Keys and bowl. Quick lit. Beautiful. Good. That should be a kill. Hopefully. And one more. Come on, we don't think you got. Good night. Maybe we do feed it. Trippy gained 70 experience points. Mm hmm. Level 9, sweet. I keep getting to read the new stats. Sorry, I keep uh, switching. Anyway, about to face a new Pokemon, Kakuna. Um, yes, I will, because. This is a very special one. Kakuna. This is Weedle's second evolution. Now, the cool thing about um, Kakuna is it only uses one move, Harden. If you catch a Kakuna out in the wild, you'll just come up with Harden, and that's a move that just raises defense. So, as long as you just keep spamming the attack move, pretty much you will whittle it down eventually. Now, I'm hoping that this should just be enough just to take the Kakuna down. Because this is some really good experience with Firebird, and if we can get to level 5 and level 6, that'd be really nice. Now, I'm just trying to think, because um, I don't think Firebird's natural moveset is that decent, I don't think. He does learn certain moves, like I think Sand Attack's a good one. That's an accuracy debuff for the enemy. Um, there's also Quick Attack, which lets you act first regardless of speed. Yeah, you can only raise your defense up so much, so right now it's just chip away now, and it's just wasting stuff. 
Now, once a Pokemon runs out of uh, power points for the one move, for all the moves, they start using a move called Struggle, which is a physical attack, but it also has recoil damage, which basically damages your Pokemon at the same time. There's other recoil moves like that as well, so, you know, they're kind of double-edged. Uh -huh. Alright, I mean, it could have it, got 106 experience, jumping them to level 6, too. So yeah, really good. Attack 11, defense 10, speed 12, special 9. So yeah, nothing, nothing horrible, but nothing great either. Uh, no, we will not. We'll keep this up because five birds at level 6, and this wheel should be a level 7. So yeah, I'll get them. And then we can actually hang the guy now. Just. Not to mention, if I remember rightly, I think we can actually give some, um, we can give Frybird some really good moves as well. There's stuff in the world, in the game, called, um, TMs, or Technical Machines, where basically you can give them to Pokemon to learn out of their natural moveset, you know? So, for example, you could give a Fire-type Pokemon a Ground move. Very useful to combat certain other types, you know? Alright, critical hit, nice. And this should pop into level 7, maybe? Nice. So yeah, it caught up pretty quickly. Alright, great to level 7, so it's 12 attack, 11 defense, 14 speed, 10 special. Beautiful. Defe defeated Bugcatcher. Well, I ran out of Pokemon! Yep, $70, nice. Okay, so I think there's, um... Nope, I I'm gonna say I thought there was an item. Yeah, there was, I knew there was an item somewhere. An antidote. Brilliant. Uh, I think there's uh I'm trying to think. I think there's one up here as well, I think. <laughs> this song gets someone I guess someone knows. Not only gets someone, I guess in my head. That's what I'm trying to say. So um yeah. There's nothing really much to explain. I mean, not the know at least. I prefer to explain things as we're going along, but what I'm thinking is, I'm thinking ahead and. Hmm. Seeing that though, I don't know if I've got the right Pokemon for a flying type. I do like Pidgey, Pidgeotto, and Pidgeot, the uh, the free. No stealing from other Pokemon and other trainers. Catch only wild Pokemon. Yeah, if you try to use a Pokeball in a fight, the trainer will just block it. Um. Hey, wait up! What's the hurry? Yeah, um, there is a, a bird Pokemon later on as part of a trade you can do with NPCs. And that Pokemon is actually kind of better in terms of the physical side. You can learn some really good moves with uh, Farfetch'd. I did actually use the main Farfetch. So was Dancing Cup mainly. The Slash as well eventually once we found the TM, I think. So we got to think about. Uh, okay, that's all a bubble could do. What's this thing you're gonna do? A um, what's the tackle gonna do? Eh, not much more. Alright, let's stick to bubble. And I have a feeling there might be a few times where I might have to do some grinding in this game, I think. Either to learn a certain move or certain evolutions. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. It's not a particularly hard game, you know, you just need to know what's right and what's wrong to, you know, what to do, what not to do. For the most part, a bit of common sense and you'd be sorted, really. It's the later games that have all the stupid mechanics that I gotta watch out for. And, uh, yeah, I am gonna plan, I am planning on playing every single Pokemon game up to the current one. It's a series that I've always, um, promised myself I would do. That's why I'm playing Pokemon Red Gen 1. Start from the beginning. Alright, Drippy Greets level 10. Perfect. Alright, 16 attack, 18 defense, 14 speed, 15. Alright, so his attacking and specials kind of along the lines of the same. Okay. I give! You're good at this. Well, true, I've got 10 plus years of experience under this. <laughs> Alright, native of winning. Brilliant. Uh, just on the other side here is. I believe the end of the forest. That's cool. Oh, you know, little bushes on the roadside. They can be cut down by a special Pokemon move. Mm -hmm. Many Pokemon live only in forests and caves. You need to look everywhere to get different kinds. Sure, you do. Ground and rock Pokemon are in caves. Normal. 
grass, these kind of stuff. Uh, let's have a look. I think I might get a manky here actually. Do I want a main a manky? Manky and a primate? There's another, there's another wild pigeon. Hmm. Let's switch to fried bird. Let's get a little bit of extra experience. Hmm. There's definitely, um, I'm definitely meaning one fire Pokemon in this playthrough. It's actually my favorite Pokemon of all times. Even with the thousands of Pokemon like today, it's still my favorite. And that's a uh, good old Arcanine. I love Arcanine. For no special reason, I just don't know, I just find him really badass and I've always tried to main him in every game I've played. Like Gen 1 and Gen 2. Alright, Firebird's level 8. 30 attack, 12 strength, 50 speed, 11 special. Sweet. Alright, cool. Should be learning um, sand attack soon. Anyway, here we are in Pewter City. Trainer tips. Any Pokemon that takes part in battle, however short, earns experience. Yeah, I pretty much went over that. Alright, let's have a quick look around Pewter City, huh? Psst. Do you know what I'm doing? No. I'm spraying repel to keep Pokemon out of my garden. Yep, there's a Lightning Cove repel that stops you from getting random bites. Pewter City, a stone grey city. Mm hmm. Pews are grey. Kind of odd, but a very nice shade of grey, actually. I do like it. <laughs> I thought I'd talk about fucking color. Shade is a color, huh? Notice. Thieves have been stealing Pokemon fossils at Mount Moon. Please call Pewter Police with any info. Mm hmm. Ah, do you know what? I'll fancy fighting the gym. You're a trainer, right? Brock's looking for new challengers. Follow me. If you try to leave, this guy will take you all the way to the gym. If you have the right stuff, go take on Brock. Mm -hmm. But fortunately, I don't. I'm one question. The guy went right, right? How the hell did he walk from here? Well, we can't, huh? <laughs> now nah, we're gonna face Brock in the next um, the next episode. I just wanna just do a quick rummage around. It's rumored that Flareys came from the moon. It appeared after Moonstone fell from fell on Mount Moon. It's really hard to keep up to date with the uh, the text. I might have to increase the message speed a little bit when we're doing the voice acting. All right, let's see what's in here. You're the Museum of Science. Sure, let's go check it out. Get a little bit of lore actually here. Yeah. It's fifty it's fifty dollars for a child's ticket. Would you like to come in? Sure. Right, fifty dollars, thank you. Alright, so yeah, we got a bunch of fossils here. Mm-hmm. Aerodactyl fossil. A primitive and rare Pokemon. That is one magnificent fossil. It is, isn't it? Da -da -da -da. Kabutos fossil. Primitive and rare Pokemon. I miss doing this. As you know, I'll be honest with you, I'm getting a massive sense of nostalgia playing this right now. Honestly, I just, it just feels so nice. We have a space exhibit now. Cool. Meteorite that fell on Mount Moon. Moonstone? Moonstone? What's so special about it? Hmm. July 20th, 1969. The first lunar landing. I bought a colour TV to watch it. <laughs> Don't get me started about that, huh? What'd you think? Fake or real? I want a Pikachu, it's so cute. I asked my daddy to cash me one. Yeah, I'll Pikachu soon, I promise. Anyway, so that's the, uh... That's the, uh... Yeah. That's the thing. Right, I don't think we can go in there yet, can we? No, we can't, because we need um, Cot to get through that. Uh, sometimes if you just keep pressing the A button on an empty square, there's a chance you can get an item. I mean, it's a hidden item, but you know, it's an item nonetheless. Let's have a look here. Oh. Need a run. Sit. Need a run. Bow, wow. <laughs> the cries, the cries. Oh, Pokemon's an outsider, so it's hard to handle. An outsider is a Pokemon that you get in a trade. It grows fast, but may ignore an unskilled trainer. In battle. If only we had some badges. So another thing about the badges as well, um... When a Pokemon's up to a certain level, 
they do follow your commands, right? But see if they go above a certain level, they have a chance of ignoring you. So by having the different badges, basically I'll say like, I think for the first badge it's level 20 I think, and then second is level 30 and so on and so forth. So it's a way of not really overpowering the game because of the trade thing. Like for example, if your best friend is completing Pokemon loads of times and you're just playing for the first time and you don't want to struggle, you could trade his level 99 fucking Charizard over, which is the third evolution of Charmander, and basically just go through the game and just completely squash it. But because of the, uh, the obey mechanic, there's a chance they might not even do anything. So it's a good bounce thing, you know? And it makes sense as well. Because it's your skill of being a Pokemon master and stuff. Alright, let's go to the mark. The shady old man got me to buy this really weird fish Pokemon. It's totally weak and it costs 500. <laughs> Should I run a Gyarados? Ooh, maybe. We'll think. Good, happens, can, good things can happen if you raise your Pokemon diligently. Even the weak ones. True. That's pretty much a hint. Hi there, may I help you? Sure, we have. I got Pokeballs, Potions, Escape Ropes, they let you get out of dungeons, pretty nice. Uh, Lancetoes, Burn Heels, Awakenings, bro, you went through all this in the last episode. Nope, there's nothing you can do. Goodbye. Let's talk about this guy, we've not talked to him yet. Did you check out the museum? I did. Weren't those fossils from Mount Moon amazing? They were, actually, they were. What if we said no? Really? <laughs> you absolutely have to go, you stupid idiot. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually taking you. <laughs> I forgot about that. God damn it. I've got an episode to end. It's right here. You have to pay to get in, but it's worth it. See you around, chomp. <laughs> Do, did you mind then? I have to get to the and send a heal a call in an episode. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Hello. There aren't many serious Pokemon trainers here. They're all like bug catchers. But Pewter Jim's Brock is totally into it. Okay, so we've got one more house over here, and then we can like, come back and call an episode. Jesus Christ. Hello. Pokemon learn new techniques as they grow. But some moves must be taught by the trainer. Yep, TMs as I mentioned. Pokemon become easier to catch when they are hurt or asleep, but it's not a sure thing. Then rice not, because even the most powerful Pokemon have only soon like a 1% chance to get caught. <laughs> Alright. Hello. Good. When Jigglypuff sings, Pokemon get drowsy. Me too. <sighs> yep, got Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. <laughs> Honestly, you should see the scenes of the anime with Jigglypuff just sending everyone to sleep. It's funny as. And then. She's got like a fucking like microphone, which acts as a marker, and basically she's there fucking drawing things on people's faces. <laughs> what? Team Rocket is on the moon? Oh, I'm on the phone. <laughs> Scram. <laughs> yeah, also this is the trading center as well, that's what I meant to say. Right, okay, so let's get healed up, and we will call it an episode. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. Be your Pokemon back to perfect help. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we need your Pokemon. Do, 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 do. That's right, all sorted. Brilliant. Thank you, your Pokemon are fine fit. You'll have to see you again soon. Yep. Right, I think that's going to be an episode. So, next episode, we will take on our first gym battle with Brock. And we'll see if we can get our first official badge. So, make sure you tune in for next time. So, anyway, my friends, that's going to be it for today's episode. So, thank you so much for watching. Please, leave a like in the episode if you enjoyed it. Sub if you haven't already. New uploads every day. Links down below. Check them out if you wish. And apart from that, enjoy the rest of your awesome day. Hope to see you next time. Take care.